Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Marketplace video. So today I'm going to be going over the best free assets that were released on the Marketplace last month. So that is the best assets that were released for free on the Unreal Engine Marketplace throughout July 2023. So no, these aren't the free for the month ones. I have already released that video, which I'll leave a link to on screen now in the description down below. So without further ado, let's get right into it, starting with GFUR 5. So GFUR is a free shell-based fur solution for Unreal Engine. GFUR supports static meshes, skeletal meshes, animated morph targets, and has an advanced shader that allows you to blend between two sets of fur strand thickness and fur tiling. Furthermore, there is support for fur clumping, wind effect, and the package contains a few more fur patterns and noise textures. So this features a shell generating component and GFUR standard and advanced materials, a complete in-editor fur generation and grooming. You can export the groom to UE native hair and fur as well. There's alembic import, static mesh and skeletal mesh support, LODs with highly optimized toggleable physics, noise for shell vertices along the normal to break up the slicing, and much much more. The lion and elk from images on the page and the video are not included in the package, and you can get GFUR for Unreal Engine 4.27 on a link on the page as well if you need it for Unreal Engine 4 instead of 5. So this is all done in C++, there are no blueprints, and it is across 13 C++ classes, and it is not network replicated. So I think this one looks absolutely fantastic. Next up, we have the UI Navigation 3.0. This is a simple to use and flexible UMG framework that allows you to build menus that can be navigated with mouse, keyboard, and gamepad all in one go. So this supports several ways of navigation which are used in pretty much all video game menus. You can change the button states, change the locations of the selector, which is a widget that indicates the currently selected option. You can change the text color, you can apply animations, and you can have custom navigation visuals. It contains three examples of different menus that you may want to have in your game, these being main menu, options menu, and a symbol inventory. This supports several different ways of navigation. There are several different navigation events. There are example menus. There's input rebinding, gamepad cursor, navigation chaining, support for 3D and VR widgets, and it is also open source. So there are 32 blueprints and 22 C++ classes, and it's not network replicated as it's not needed. So this one looks absolutely great, and especially being for free, this is very, very useful for a project which you'd want to be able to set up nice and easily for both PC and console, or just one or the other. Now we have Look At Actor. This allows you to effortlessly make objects look at each other with offset and smooth rotation, and this is simple and easy to use. So you can make objects in your game always face and track another object. So the example they've got in the video is a camera tracking and facing the player so you're always going to be looking wherever they go in the world. It has a simple and easy to use interface for quick setup and configuration. There are customizable offset locations to achieve precise positioning of the looking object. There's a smooth rotation with interpolation for natural and fluid looking movements. You can enhance character interactions by creating eye contact or focused attention. You can create dynamic camera behaviors for improved player experience. There are intuitive blueprint nodes for seamless integration into your Unreal Engine project and you'll save development time by eliminating the need for complex scripting or manual adjustments. So there are no blueprints as it is all written in C++, however all features can be used via BP nodes. So you can then use it in your own blueprints as well. And there's only one C++ class. It is not network replicated, however you can set that up quite easily. They've said this, is, this shouldn't be complex to then replicate. And finally, last but not least, we have Splinecraft Lite. So this plugin enables rapid and efficient generation of various structures on the scene using Primitive's Static Mesh. So this has rapid and efficient generation of various structures using Static Mesh Primitives. This is implemented as a C++ actor with a spline component for easy manipulation. The placement of Primitive's using Instance Static Mesh component objects in line mode for optimal efficiency. There is the ability to switch between line and curve modes for constructing heavy or bulk structures efficiently. The mobility property is accessible in the lighting section, and the special utility tools ellipse, rectangle, line, wide surface, and much more allow convenient placement of points on the spline. So there's one blueprint in this and one C++ class. This one once again looks very very useful 
and looks like a big time saver for your projects if you want to create lots of perimeter walls, lots of fences or anything really where you need a long line going around like this, this would help perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video, just covering some of the best assets that have been released for free on the Unreal Engine Marketplace throughout the month of July 2023. Of course there are a lot more than what I've shown here, I just wanted to show some of the best ones which I've seen. Let me know in the comments down below if you've seen any other ones which you think are great and you'd love to share with everyone else as well. So thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful of me just going over and covering and showcasing these assets and if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.